Opportunity cost is the value you miss out on when you have to choose between alternatives. Every time you make a choice to do something, you miss out on the chance to be doing something else. Say one morning you wake up and it's a beautiful sunny day. You could phone in sick, call your friends and go to the park to enjoy the sunshine. You benefit from that, but you pay a cost. You lose all the money you could have earned from going to work. And maybe you annoy your boss. Or if you wake up and it's a beautiful sunny day and you go to work instead of calling in sick, the opportunity cost is the happiness you would have got from taking a day off and going to the park with your friends. You can only do one thing at a time. So by choosing to do something, you are losing the chance to be doing something else. The opportunity cost is the value of the next best option because you can reduce a difficult choice between many choices down to a simple choice between two things, option X versus the next best alternative out of all the choices on offer. Imagine you have a selection of things you can have for lunch and you can only choose one, a cheeseburger, a salad, soup, a sandwich, a pizza, and you choose the cheeseburger. Then identify which you like best out of all the other choices. For me, that would be a pizza. So the opportunity cost for me of choosing the cheeseburger would be not eating the pizza. Choosing the cheeseburger would only be a good choice if the pleasure that you got from eating a cheeseburger was greater than the suffering you experienced from not eating the pizza. Opportunity cost is one of the basic principles in economics and it can apply at all levels, to an individual, to a family, to a company or organization, and to a country or a society. A company can invest money in buying new equipment or it can hire new staff. A government can spend its tax revenue on policemen and jails or on extra teachers and more schools. We can draw a graph to show opportunity cost. Say a slice of pizza and a burger both cost a dollar. On this chart, the x-axis is how many burgers you can buy. The y-axis is how many slices of pizza. If we have $10, we can buy anywhere up to or along this line. From 10 slices of pizza and no burgers along to 10 burgers and no slices of pizza. If we have $15, the line moves here. If we have to choose between two things with different prices, then the angle of the line will change. Here, the choice is between slices of pizza, which cost a dollar, and cookies at 50 cents each. This line is called a production possibility frontier. You can have anything up to this line. If you had $10 but nothing more, you could buy two slices of pizza and three burgers and just keep the rest of the money. The line of a production possibility frontier does not have to be straight. This man lives on an island where he can collect bananas or catch fish. Here we can see he must give up five bananas if he wants to get 10 extra fish. But this graph presumes it takes him the same amount of time to harvest each banana or catch each fish. In reality though, as he gathers more bananas, he has to climb higher and higher each time to collect one. And as he catches more fish, he has to take his boat further and further out to sea each time. In that case, the production possibility frontier changes when the opportunity cost changes and we get a curved line. 